My name is Trip. I've been told for so long I had a, a really soft voice. People used to fall asleep in my meetings and I'd give a briefing. It was probably a combination of the subject matter, boring accounting, and also my, my demeanor and my speech. Of course, I don't speak this quietly in, in real life, and neither do any of the folks on the ASMR channels speak that way either in regular life. It just goes along with the philosophy and the practice of ASMR. Most of the ASMR folks out there were females, attractive females. There were a few guys. I, I think I'm possibly the... I've never seen anybody as old as I am, to be honest with you. Who's as old as I am who's trying to, to run an ASMR channel. I have trouble sleeping too. So I've tried to disengage myself from some of the some of the, the stimulation and the social media, the radio and TV. There's so much bad news in the world. I'm a warrior too, which goes along maybe with the sleep, I suppose. And I do come late to this ASMR. Late in life, there are people who've had channels out there for many years, and they're so good at it. But this is just something that I that I want to do a little bit here. A quick note about me: I'm 67. I I retired three years ago after nearly dying in a car wreck, a really bad car wreck. I couldn't even move for for weeks, but I seem to have mostly come through that. I guess I grew up on a farm. I I played in, in top 40 and, and pop bands in, for many years in my life, a couple of years full time and then part time for many years as well. I traveled a lot, I backpacked across Western Europe twice before the, before the Berlin Wall came down, so you couldn't go to East, Eastern Europe very well. I, been around the USA and Canada on the train, been to South America. So I'm new to social media. I don't know anything much about Twitter and Facebook, any of that stuff. But I'm learning and I'm sure you can see that I have a lot to learn. This is my first video. I'm really kind of a shy person and a little bit nervous, I suppose. Anyhow, I want to bring some nice readings to you and hopefully they'll have a calming effect on you and improve your life in some way. I'll try not to make really long videos either. I'm not really good enough at that at this point to, to do that. I need my glasses. I'm going to read about, I'm going to read a sonnet from Shakespeare, William Shakespeare. Shakespeare was born in 1564 in Stratford-on-Avon, which is a beautiful part of, of England from the movies I've seen. I've only been to London and Norwich as far as England goes. I'd love to go to the Lake Country, though. Anyway, Shakespeare joined a theatrical company, the Lord Chamberlain's Company, in London. He became a well-known actor and a playwright, as we all know. He was, in 1593, he published his poem, Venus and Adonis, and that established his reputation as a poet. He went on to write so many great works in, in English. He was the, the greatest, uh, probably the greatest in the English language. Romeo and Juliet estab established him as a, as a playwright when he wrote that, that great work. He also wrote Hamlet, King Lear, Macbeth, Antony and Cleopatra, as many of us know. So, here's a short reading, a short sonnet. It's named, very simply, Sonnet 18, William Shakespeare. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's leaf hath all too short a date. Sometime too hot the eye of heaven shines, 
and often is his gold complexion dimmed, and every fair from fair sometimes declines, by chance or nature's changing course untrimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest, nor shall death brag thou wanderest in his shade, when in eternal lines to time thou growest. So long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. I think that's just beautiful. I was forced to learn that in college. I'm sure many of you are, have also had an encounter with it somewhere in a school, high school or college. Anyway, I've gone on enough here. This is Trip, and I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. Please feel free to comment, especially about this poem, this beautiful sonnet. Hope you will like my video, and please feel free to share it. And I bid you the best. Peace be with you.